In this example, we are going to calculate the electric potential due to charged disk. This blue disk is thin and flat, has a radius of R0. The radius of the blue disk is R0 and has a density sigma and the charge plus Q. So this disk has uniform charge density. We want to find the electric potential at point on the Z axis that passes from the center of this disk, I call it M. We need to find the electric potential element, the definition of electric potential element dV, is the Coulomb constant times dq over r. This is by definition. So this dq is the element of charge I take is the element of charge on this pink area. This element of charge on the pink area will produce an element of electric field dv. So the distance is the distance from the pink area to where is the point M. I call it R. So this radius R, or this one, is the radius of the pink area, I call it R, and this thickness of this area, or thickness of this strip, is dr. So the thickness of the pink side of the pink area, we call it dr, and the radius of the pink area, we call it just r. Now, we need to find this pink area, because we said the charge, by definition in this case, it will be the density times the, the element of area. The element of area where the dq is placed is just the circumference of this pink area times the thickness or the thickness of this strip. So what will be? The A will be the circumference of the pink area will be just 2 pi r times the thickness dr. It gives me the area, the pink area. So this is what will be the charge on the pink area. It will be the density in that pink area times the pink area. Now, we need to find R. What is R? R is this distance. If I go from here to here, it's just the radius of the pink area. We call it R. And then this is Z, is constant. This distance from the disk on the z-axis is constant, I call it just z. Now, if I use Pythagorean theorem, r it will be the square root of r squared plus z squared. So I go here, and I replace r with a square root of r squared plus z squared. We have dv equals Coulomb constant times sigma 2 pi r dr over square root of r squared plus z squared. So this is the electric potential produced by a charge on the pink area. But our objective is to find the whole electric potential. All we need to do is do the sum of all these pink areas. So we said the total electric potential, which is the integral of dv, we said the dv, we said this sigma 2 pi r dr times Coulomb constant over square root of r squared plus z squared. So sigma 2 pi can go outside because they are constant. It will be Coulomb constant times sigma times 2 pi outside uh, times r dr over square root of r squared plus z squared. Now, to solve this integral, we just make a variable change. We use r squared plus z squared equals to u. So what that means, if I put this one in terms of power, it will be just r squared plus z squared power of one half. Now, what is du to dr? 
Remember here the variable is the radius, huh? radius of this pink area. The du to dr will be what? The derivative of this function will be just one half times the derivative of the inside, which is 2r times r squared plus z squared power of 1 half minus 1 half, 1, it will be just negative 1 half. Now I can cancel this, what will be? That will be du over dr, we just r factor of what? r squared plus z squared power of negative 1 half. If I move dr to the other side, du will be just r times r squared plus z squared power negative 1 half dr. Now, if I go here, what I see, let's continue on the next page. Okay, we said the electric potential is k sigma 2 pi integral r dr over square root of r squared plus z squared. Now, and we found uh, when we made a variable a change, we said u equals square root of r squared plus z squared. du will be just r factor of r squared plus z squared power of negative one half dr. Now, this, what it is? This is the same thing as this. Now, let us make it clear. v equals k sigma 2 pi integral of r dr and this square root downstairs what they have the square root downstairs r squared plus z squared is just r squared plus z squared power of one half now if i want to move it upstairs let put it here r squared plus z squared power of one half if i want to move it upstairs i multiply by the same thing, but the power of negative one half. So what will be? It will be k sigma two pi integral r dr times r squared plus z squared power of negative one half. I multiply here by same thing, r squared plus z squared power of one half times r squared plus z squared power of negative one half. This term it will give me one. Then all I have is this upstairs. So it will be k sigma two pi integral r dr factor of r squared plus z squared power of negative one half. Now what do you see here? This is just du. So if I put this k sigma two pi integral of du now, what will be? It will be just uh, the electric potential. It will be just k sigma times 2 pi. The integral of du is just u, but we need to pay attention to the integral limit. The integral limit, we said u depends on the radius of, uh, of the pink area. The pink area can go from the origin to the extreme side of the disk, which is R0. That means we can go from 0 to R0 of the disk. If I replace u, it will be just square root of r squared plus z squared. It will be v equals k sigma 2 pi factor of square root of r0 squared plus z squared minus the 0. When I replace it here with 0, we just square root of z squared. It will be just z. So this is what will be the electric potential due to a disk. Okay, so in this case we just replace sigma with the total charge over total area. Uh, we said the V is the Coulomb constant times sigma which is the total charge over the total area which is pi r0 squared times 2 pi and uh, this times square root of r0 squared plus z squared minus z. Now we can also replace, we take pi r, 
and then we can replace the uh, column constant, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 times q times 2 over r0 squared factor of square root of r0 squared plus z squared minus z. Now we can cancel 2. We will have just q over 2 pi epsilon 0 r0 squared factor. We can put this one in term of power. It will be r0 squared plus z squared power of 1 half minus z. This is the electric potential form due to a charged disk 